Hey guys, back again. Today we're checking out Burial Beer Company's Surf Wax IPA. So the Surf Wax, uh, another IPA from Burial. We seem to have bought all of their IPAs for some reason. <laughs> so like in the last video, we were talking about how it has crazy artwork and it's got some pretty insane text on the can. I'm just gonna read it again for you guys. <clears throat> Surf Wax, fear causes hesitation. If you want the ultimate, you've got to be willing to pay the ultimate price. Ain't it wild? Why be a servant to the law when you can be its master? I know you want it so bad it's like acid in your mouth, but are you crazy enough? Show these guys that you are inching their, that are inching their way on the freeways and their metal coffins and the human spirit is alive. We only live to get radical. That's pretty radical. I don't know what it means, but fuck yeah. This one says, Mosaic Centennial Citra Columbus. Lots of barley, touch of wheat, the sea swallows the sun, and who knows if it rises again. I'm guessing that has something to do with freedom and being a slave to the system. And surfing and feeling free. Maybe surfing. On this side, it's a picture of a grotesque skeleton with some surfboards with like an eel coming out of his mouth, like a, like a sea eel or something. Yeah. And then on this side, it's like a, it's like a moon and like some, a rib cage. <laughs> and some uh, some hawks. And the night sky. Yeah. It smells like, it smells hoppier than the last one does. Yeah, and it's, oddly, this one had citron in it, but I'm not getting a, tr a lot of tropical notes. No, no, not as much as the last one. The last one was very juicy. And this one seems more uh, hoppy and, and piney. Alcohol percentage, this one's 6.8, I believe, or 6, yeah, 6.8, 65 IBU. So a little bit more bitter, a little bit more alcohol in this one. Uh, so we should be getting more body, we should be getting a little bit more pininess, I think, and a little bit more florally notes kind of out of this one. So let's dive in and check it out. Cheers. Yeah, I'm tasting the Centennial Columbus. Yeah, that's a really good balance. That's typical the popular hops. Yeah, I feel like this one is more piney. It's still really juicy though. Like it's still very, uh, yeah, there's all that sediment in there. I don't know if you guys can it's see It's still that, hazy, but... but it's not nearly as hazy as the other one. Yeah, it's definitely more piney, more florally, but it still has a lot of that juicy character that we tasted in the last one. Mm -hmm. That Vale-esque, I want to say, you know, character to it. Good carbonation. I, it's not too much. It's like I like these style of beers, these like these hazier beers, because they don't feel like they're filling me up as much with carbonation. Yeah, it's true. more beer than than kind of bubbles, I guess. If that makes yeah. any sense. It's more of a traditional IPA feel, but still with that juicy complexity, so it changes it up a bit. Yeah, this I feel like is like exactly what you said. It's like a mix between the West Coast style IPA, like a traditional West Coast American IPA, mixed with a New England style IPA. It's like kind of a Coercion. I don't know if this to say anything about it. We live to get radical, so we're correct. I remember when we went there, we tried all kinds of stuff. We got like a couple flights and like we liked everything pretty much. Yeah. There was like one we didn't really care for, but I think that was like a bizarre style or something like that. But a lot of the stuff there was excellent. Yeah, I had this Imperial stuff that was like yeah. conditioned on Madagascar vanilla beans. It was so good. We need more of that, dudes. Another good one from Burial. You guys are rocking it. So keep it up. We like your stuff. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, then hit the thumbs down button. We don't really care. Either way, hit the subscribe button so you can see more beer related content from us. And as always, stay crafty. Cheers. All right, guys, thanks. No, oh, my eye. Okay, my eyes are playing tricks on me. It's just beer, man. It's too good for its own good. Are you crazy?
All right, well, that does it from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. You guys know what to do. The thumbs up button really helps the channel out, so be sure to smash that shit. And... Thought you were gonna team. <laughs> I can't. I just... Until next time, cheers. Ah, shit. Until next time, stay crafty. Stay crafty is like our thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. Nobody can steal that. That's ours. We should <laughs> trade. <laughs> True. And we need to get rid of all this beer in the fridge anyway. We have like, how many beers do you think we have in, in these fridges combined? Like 75? Oh, I think more than that. I mean, yeah. We have maybe some Vail stuff. To 100. I mean, you're not including the bottles, the bombers, and the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of beer. We have a lot of beer news. Like, we have a lot of reviews coming. So, even more reason to subscribe. If you liked what you saw, please hit that bell button. Uh, please hit that like. Please hit the thumbs up. 